religion because I felt like I would be loved and accepted but the moment that I said I no longer shared your beliefs, I was shut. I wasn't even about So this evening, brothers and sisters, I don't understand we why. look forward to our you meeting this evening. Yeah, it's probably well. And so we appreciate it. I really don't feel like that was proper of any of you. If this is supposed to be a religion of love. Well, we all need refreshment this evening. You know, when you think about uh, the world in which we live in, we all need to be refreshed. Okay. Dear brothers and sisters, so I implore you to When you think please about listen. the things that we have, some important have to, to share. do and say, please listen. Uh, it's really important you research your religion because there are people being harmed by it. My mother was a victim. She actually died from the ever-changing blood doctrine that you guys purport. She actually died at the tender age well, of only 32 years old. She was also baptized to our meeting. this religion at age 12 One of the things and married that we, at age 15. We can appreciate now, also, is that, there are children being abused uh, and nobody is doing anything about it. We hope that this meeting tonight refreshes us. They will not when you think about some of the highlights for tonight's meeting, what we look forward to, we look forward to treasures from God's Word. Highlights how Jesus offered refreshment to us. When we get to our digging for spiritual gems, we'll look for the answers to this question. It's, why did John the Baptist ask this question based upon Matthew, the 11th chapter, Verses two and three. Please, I beg of you, please. And then we'll get into our Bible reading please, no. this evening, and then we'll apply yourself uh, to the ministry. We'll get to see our second and third return visit, uh, as that's highlighted tonight, and then how that progresses uh, to a Bible study. And then we'll look forward to living as Christians. We'll have a video. Refresh all those torn uh, and loaded towns. And then we'll conclude with our Bible study. So we'll invite Brother Coggin up to open our meeting. Um, and because they were not to the average person, what I have here in my hand may just seem like a regular bottle of water. He's going to talk about what about someone who's been without water for two and a half days? Well, this is probably the most beautiful and refreshing thing that's going on. All right. In our Bible reading this week, let's go. Go ahead and follow her. Let's go, man. We're going to consider yeah, we need to go. Jesus you don't want to go. pedophiles. Why would you call them? Well, the uh, let's go ahead and talk about that outside. You ready to go? Come on. Okay, we'll follow her out. Are you safe? Huh? Come on outside. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Read our first scripture. Matthew chapter 10, at verse 29 and 30. And let's take a look at what kind of refreshment Jesus has to offer us. You understand? So what the deal is, folks, is that we're concerned about the two witness rule and how it protects pedophiles. The Watchtower organization does not protect children properly. You can Google Candace Conti. Let's go. Let's go. How you doing? Let's go. You can Google Candace Conti. You're not invited here. Let's go now. Okay. So Google. Google everything you can about this religion. Stop your shunning of your loved ones. Please do your research, folks. Do not follow the two witness rule. Stop using the two witness rule to protect you. Jesus said at another point in his ministry that five sparrows could be. Adios, folks.